Hi you guys, today I want to show you how to import a file from SketchUp to Archicad and afterwards into Cinema 4D. First I'm going to go to 3D Warehouse to show you how to download a file, an object. We're going to download the file that is compatible to our SketchUp. So I'm going to download this one, I'm going to click save, I'm going to wait for it to download, then I'm going to open it. You know that? File, save as, I'm going to keep the name, but here at save as type I'm going to change it to SketchUp version 8 which is compatible to ArtCAD. Click save, click yes. Now I'm going to go to where I saved this and his name is SKT whatever. I'm going to click drag it into ArchiCAD, which is here. So drag it here and wait to the ArchiCAD to convert it. Okay, after that, as you can see, if I scroll zoom in with the scroll, you can see a square. I'm going to click there and wait for it to. So there it is, the bush that I. Okay, so I think it's a really big object. Now I'm gonna move it. No, click, drag it. I'm gonna put this along the aisle. Go to generic perspective and wait for the perspective to open. It needs to recalculate everything that you imported. Okay, so the 3D is updating. Now the 3D is updated. And the bushes are here. I'm going to have to select them to drag them down. Okay. Another object that I imported is the tree here and the plant pots. That are yeah, so they're pretty and hard to do in 3D. So I imported them. Now let's talk about export it to exporting the file to Cinema 4D. So I'm going to go to Document, Creative Imaging, Photo Rendering Settings. These are the settings that I used. I highlight this sky, the serious sky, and I'm gonna click here on the arrow export to cinema 4D instead of photo rendering projection. So export to cinema 4D. Now it's gonna ask me for folder. I'm gonna go to Google Access. Okay. And uh, another verse. Click on save. Now it's rendering. You're gonna have to wait a bit because we have a lot of objects. Great. So 
I'm gonna save what I've done. Okay, I'm gonna and I want to open the last Cinema 30 file I created. So here you go. I choose now. And this is the file we just did. The first thing I do is click on display quick shading. And the second thing I do is I go to settings here under render, render settings, and choose the preset screen. Well, I choose this one, you can choose whatever, I just, I like a HDTV picture. Now, if you'd like to talk about uh, texture, I'm going to create a texture to apply here on this roof. So, I go to here on the materials, go to create new material, double click and color, texture and I need to load an image. I choose, let's see what roof I want to choose. Actually, I like this one, so click open. I choose OK. Yes. Okay. And here the texture you have an arrow. So let's click on that and copy shader. Go to bump. Check that to activate it. Go to texture. Paste shader. So now the bump will be the same with the texture here. Okay, now I'm going to select this roof and after I selected it, I'm going to go here to select faces. So let's say I'm going to select this face. I'm going to drag and drop the material here. If you go on your right in the model, roofs, see it's from categories, this is a roof. This is all the roof, and this is the material I applied on this face. So I'm gonna let it UV mapping because if I change it to flat, not correct. So let it UV mapping, but I think it's a little bit small, so I'm gonna make it. Here on tiles 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Yeah, I like it as well. Now select again, go on another face. This 0 0.5, 0 0.5. After you applied your text oh I just realized the texture here is not correct so okay point five point five okay now it's okay I want to make another texture for the wood here so create new material double click Go to color, texture. I'm gonna load an image from, let's say what I have on the wood. I'm gonna find something. Okay. I'm gonna choose this one. I like this one. Open, click yes. I'm gonna copy shader, go to bump, Paste shader. I'm gonna go to create new material again. Go to color, 
face shader. So, I have one texture that's vertical, but I want to do another texture that's horizontal. So to do that, with the same picture, I'm going to go here, when you, where you see the, the texture and the arrow, go to layer, click on this, go to effect, transform. So you can transform it until you make a layer. And I'm going to rotate it at 90 degrees. And after I did that, I need to go to color, copy shader, and go to bump. So that the bump is also horizontal. Face shader. Now. Now with the cube selected. <laughs> we need to go to this object and select the, the material the texture that's vertical. And you can see how pretty it looks. Yeah? I'm gonna do that to the other one. And to the other one. Okay. Now I want to make this out of wood too, so select it. I hope is the only one selected because okay, yeah, is the only one selected. And I'm gonna go to the other texture that's horizontal and click. And now you can see this is horizontal. Okay, yeah. So after I applied all the materials. I did the render and this is what it looks like. Thank you and subscribe and hit a like because it helped me.